Pulau Mutiara, Pearl of the Orient, Pulau Penang, or simply Penang Island. This densely populated island is famous for being a food paradise here in Malaysia. It's a really nice, well-balanced bowl of wonton here. Delicious. Some of the richest broth I've ever tasted in any soup in my life. In this series, we will show you some of the best dishes this island has to offer. First up, some of Penang's delicious noodles. Shark Kway Tao is possibly the most popular noodle dish here in Penang. Definitely one of the most famous dishes overall in Penang. So we did a lot of research trying to find a spot we really wanted to come to. We found this one, Siam Road, very famous. It's been a business by the family over 50 years. And what's special about this place, they use a charcoal fired wok. Like, we love charcoal everything if you watch us enough. And that charcoal makes it get extra heat. So let's see if it makes a big difference in the flavor here. We have the rice noodles, the flat rice noodles. You have the lap chong in here. You have these big juicy prawns, egg, scallion, bean sprouts. Oh, it smells incredible, waiting on that line. There's always gonna be a line here, it's that popular. I can't even talk about it anywhere, let's just take a bite. Get a big, big pile right here. I like this because it got a little bit of smokiness from that wok, but it's also got a slight oiliness to it too. And got it with the chili sauce, it makes a little bit of spicy kick. Now I'm gonna try it with this prawn. Big juicy fresh prawn. Got this lap chong. I love how the lap chong adds a little bit of sourness to it too. It is an excellent char kway chow, definitely worth checking out. Eight 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 Hokkien Mee. We are here for a famous Penang specialty. It's called Hokkien Mee. So the funny thing is that we spent a lot of time in KL, and Hokkien Mee and KL is something totally different. So this one actually, they call it in other places prawn meat, is because the broth here is a rich prawn flavor broth. And that's the funny thing too. The Hokkien Mee and KL is like a dry noodle. This is a soup noodle. Beautiful thing about the spot, when you come in, you can customize your bowl. So the basic bowl comes with this rich red broth, and you get a mix of rice noodle and the yellow mee noodle. And they give you, there's the fried shallots on here, there's some pork lard, there's egg. Then you can add on some things. So of course, we had to add on. So we got the roast pork, and we got the pork intestines. There's a lot more, that's what we got. spicy they give you this red spoon full of chili sauce and it looks absolutely incredible it just it's just packed with ingredients in this bowl just some of this broth oh just when you smell it you just that rich prawn aroma some of the richest broth I've ever tasted in any soup in my life this is, is that prawn flavor just hits you in the face right away. Mm. Get enough of that prawn broth. You could just give me a bowl of this broth, no noodles. I'll just drink it. I'll be a happy man. But the beauty of it, there's about 10 other ingredients in this bowl. Big lift of this noodle. Take a big bite. I love how the mixture of the noodles are perfect for this soup. So that rice noodle really absorbs the broth. Then you have the more of the chewiness of the yellow noodle. But it's still, that, that prawn flavor is just dominant and just it's so rich. Take a spoonful here of the broth with the fried shallots. Mm. I love the flavor of the fried shallots. Give it to it, complements it so well because there's a slight bit of sweetness to it. And I'm gonna take a spoon with this intestine, this roast pork, a little broth. I'm gonna have to take a bite first of this intestine. Mm. This one has no inner taste. I 
that roast pork has a little bit of like a spice, spice kind of a nice flavor to it. It just adds another dimension. And there's even a little bit of uh, bean sprouts in here as well. It gives it a nice crunchiness. Back to more noodles. One, we are at home key wonton mi. And here I have this chimp roll wonton mi, the dry version. It smells very pony. What's incredible about this spot is they make these noodles fresh. So you gotta come here early to check out the, basically they put on a show here. And you see that they put the layer of dough down, he's bouncing on top of the bamboo pole. how it impacts the taste of these noodles. And I can already tell, a lot of the wonton you've had here in Malaysia, they give you the wonton on the side in the soup. I like that this one, they put it right there in the bowl. And the char siu looks really nice. It has a nice caramelized outside. It's got that brown color, which I really like. And these nice, juicy, plump wontons in here. And we also have some greens. This is a very nice bowl, and I see these those chunks of that wonderful, crispy lard in there. Oh. first of the texture of these noodles they're really bouncy they got a slight like al dente type texture to it so the funny thing is the way he bounces up and down on that bamboo pole on the noodles it results in a really bouncy noodle i'm gonna try a bite of this one time it's so juicy you can see the skin is just just enough to cover it It's got a nice like sesame oil taste to the pork filling. And the sauce in here is not too overwhelming. It's got that slight sweet. It's a really nice, well-balanced bowl of wonton here. Delicious. So the name of this place may be Hongki Wonton Mi, but it's really a full-scale restaurant. And this is a perfect example of it right here. This one is Por Fun Noodle with Deer Meat. I mean, deer meat, come on. How often do you see deer meat on the menu anywhere? When you do, you gotta order it. So it's these big, big chunks of deer meat with the saute flat rice noodle, the hor fun. You also have some scallion, green onion here, bean sprout, and looks like there's big chunks of ginger too. This, this looks absolutely delicious. Try biting just the noodles before we try the deer. All that silky texture of the hor fun. It's got a nice little bit of wake in there. It's got slight oil, slick on there. Then you really taste that ginger, it's so sharp when it cuts in there. And you also get the crunchiness and the freshness of the bean sprouts, but I really want to get down with this slice of deer meat right here. Mm. Deer meat is very lean, but it's got a nice like sweet flavor. But a lot of these like game meats, whether it's like alpaca, kangaroo, anything like that, they have that really nice sweet flavor and it's lean. So. You know it's a leaner meat, it's still like very rich and full of flavor too. This is, a, this is an awesome dish. And like I like how they serve it on the banana leaf. You have this little sauce on the side. A lot of hot sauce to go with it. from Island Center. This place has a lot of food stalls. Mostly food carts, roadside street food. We're having mi goreng mama. And the gentleman, he is really cooking it and firing it up using charcoal. And man, it's so glorious and it's very mesmerizing watching him making the mi goreng. 
So this doll here is called Hussein Migoreng. So it's the Migoreng Mamak. And Mamak is the phrase for, is the term for Indian Muslim. There's a big community here in Penang. There's also the Nasi Kandar, which we're gonna cover in heavy detail. But we wanted to switch it up here and get this noodle. And you could love watching him cook it on the wok in that charcoal. He grabs a pile of the noodles, blanches them real quick in a, basically like a quick boil. He throws it in the wok, mix it in with the egg. He's got some squid in here, fried onions, bean sprouts, AKA taogi. It's just uh, tofu, fritters, all. Yes. I love it. And then at the end, they throw some fresh lettuce on top and you have a lime you can squeeze on, which I did. And I'm ready for this. Nice spoonful. And that's what's cool too with these uh, noodles. They're kind of chopped up. So you're not gonna have those long strands of noodles. They're more chopped up like this. So let's take first bite of it. Mm. You really taste that squid in there. It's got a nice little spiciness as well. You got that crunchy from the bean sprouts. And I like because it's not too it's not too heavy of any one flavor. You get that those different notes of the spicy, the squid flavor, the slight bit of sweetness. It's definitely more on the savory side. I love when he cracks that egg in there too, so you have this big chunk of egg. And I just love those fried onions too. Mm. And once you squeeze that lime in there, it gives it that nice, like kind of tangy, refreshing flavor to go with it. This is great. And that high heat charcoal, you can really taste the difference. The nice smoky tinge to this. the skill that he's showing on that walk. He's just, it's so, he's so swift for like taking the noodles that are being blanched, throwing them in the walk, is the way he moves it. Just that high heat of the charcoal, you really taste the difference. And it's, I love how well balanced this is. Definitely have to try Mi Goreng Mamak when you're here in Penang, it's a must.